Hey guys, so Next Gen Tech Mom here, and I just wanted to do a short video. Hopefully, this will be short. Um, and just introduce myself. I kind of just jumped out here and started doing projects and posting videos and I realized that a lot of you guys out here don't really know me so I wanted to make sure that I let you know who I am and I started Next Gen Tech Mom because I am clearly a techie. I love everything tech related. Um, I really love making things. That is one of my major hobbies. Um, and I think that that is a lot of why I do what I do, period. Just because I love making things. I like starting out with pieces, putting things together, and seeing it come to life which is amazing that's just you know just just the wonderful thing to me so um basically i just wanted to introduce myself and let you guys know you know what it's all about why i do what i do um i do this because first of all i was a field service engineer for a medical device company and during COVID, I have been furloughed. So I am actually just at home, and which is an excellent thing because I get to spend a lot more time with my kids. I used to do a lot of traveling. Uh, I think 80%, 85, I would, I would dare to say 85% of my time was somewhere else. I wasn't here. So this has been actually a blessing for me because I've been able to spend more time with my kids and really getting to know them and really getting to, you know, nurture them and be with them and and just really learn them. You know what I mean? Learn their their personalities and all of that. And it's not that I didn't know them before because I really did know them. Of course, you know, if you're a mom, you understand that we know our kids, but, you know, it's different when you get to spend 24-7 with them. Um, so it was a really great opportunity for me, actually. Uh, I hate to sound like that, but that is the bright side of this whole COVID thing and being quarantined and just getting to learn the people around you. Um, so I was able to really spend some more time with my kids. And I have been just trying to indulge them in some of the things that I love and let them learn about me, you know, and let them learn what mommy does all the time because mommy was always gone. What was she doing while she was gone? And I was working on machines and putting things together and taking things apart and, you know, just learning different things about different medical devices and things like that all the time. So this is an opportunity to let them into my world as well. So this is what we do. Um, I I let them do some things and they just love it. They they love it because I love it. And, you know, that's just how it works. It's like, you know, if you have a passion for things, it seems like your kids really get involved with it. So I'm taking that. I'm taking advantage of that um, and just teaching them. And just teaching them more than just technology, just teaching them or how to put things together. I'm teaching them work ethic and I'm teaching them, you know, different things about life and how sometimes you just need to divulge or dive into a project, you know, to keep your sanity. Um, so these are the things that I enjoy and I just wanted to share them with the world because I feel like everybody is just going through so many things right now with everything that's going on that we all need to just dive into a project, you know, just do something to get your mind off of everything that's going on in the world today. Um, so this is my release. This is how I do it. Some people sew, some people crochet, some people, you know, um, paint, some people, 
that I mean they do all kinds of things which funny story so I was an art major in college and that is exactly what I, I used to do all those things I, I molded stuff I painted stuff I I was a graphic designer most of the time I did a lot of graphic design and things like that but you know just dive into a project you know when you feel yourself getting low when you feel yourself um needing a release needing a place away from the world like find something and and dig in and really focus on those things and also develop your you know develop your your brain function you know and i mean at any time in life we just need to you know stretch those muscles you know what i mean stretch those muscles out and uh and really put it to work so that's what this is for me this these projects these things that i do is just a way to get away from the world for a little while. So I appreciate you coming on this journey with me and diving into these projects with me. Um, yeah, I just got to figure out what my next project is. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, I made the game table. Not super proud of it just yet. I feel like I need to do some... Uh, some changes on the game table. Um, I just don't feel like it's very refined. I will post a video about the game table, of course, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. But I'm just, I'm not happy with it right now. Uh, I am a little bit, I don't, I, I wouldn't call myself a perfectionist because I don't think that I'm a perfectionist. I'm an artist at at heart and at spirit but and I know perfection is a goal that you'll never reach so I understand that but there are certain things about it that I wish were different I think in my mind I had an idea of what it was going to look like and when I finished it that idea it didn't it didn't translate it wasn't what I thought it was going to be um so I may have to go back to the drawing board on the game table, but we'll see. I'll show you a video of it. You let me know what you think. What do you think? Should I go back to the drawing board? I don't know. We'll see.